here to this isolated canyon is less than 14 miles. That's about a 20-minute run each mm -hmm. way, Mr. Barnes. This particular canyon you point out is Devil's Canyon, right? Yeah, you know it. Oh, like a book. Well, then, let's start from the beginning. My firm manufactures jet propellants. For the last year, we've been experimenting with a solid fuel. Well, I've read about it. You've had an explosion at your plant. <laughs> that was when it was in the experimental stage. We've got it harnessed pretty well now. We've been working in the lab with minute particles. Now we want to try it as an explosive. What's this stuff like? Dynamite? <laughs> Two ounces would be equivalent to ten sticks of dynamite. We want to test twenty ounces. Get enough of this solid fuel together, it'd be like an atomic bomb, wouldn't it? That's right. Except this wouldn't give any harmful radioactive clouds. Mr. Barnes, just how do we fit in? Well, we have made a bomb. A solid fuel bomb. You want us to drop this bomb in Devil's Canyon, is that it? No. We want you to fly it in. That's ridiculous. It won't be triggered until you get there. We'll send our top scientists along with you. But uh, just how did you happen to pick us? Well, for two reasons. First of all, the big corporations have insurance clauses to worry them. They can't carry explosives. It's too dangerous. But your outfit's privately owned. Oh, great. And your second reason, Mr. Barnes? Your airport is the closest one to Devil Canyon. We'll set up our recorder here and study the effects of the explosion. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance of this bomb exploding before we get out of the canyon? Well, there's always a certain element of danger. We'll take every precaution, however. We'll cushion the bomb, cradle it. Wait a minute, sir. What if we hit a downdraft and land hard? Well, that's why we can't drive it in. Not even a jeep could make it. It's too rough. But in a helicopter... How long will we have to get out of the canyon before the explosion? You said yourself it's only a 20-minute run. The bomb's set to explode in an hour. 20 minutes in, 20 minutes out. Chuck, you're not thinking of taking this job. A 40-minute flight, gentlemen, for $2,500. $2,500? Just to fly a bomb in and get out quickly? That's my offer. Chuck. Yeah, it is pretty good dough for less than an hour's flying. Oh, fine. And what if the whirlybird blows up? Well, in that case, Helen, you'll just have to sublease the hangar. It's a deal? Deal. Quite a machine, that recorder. Why not? Mr. Barnes wants to see how high the bomb will blow you. The way you talk, somebody think you cared. Well, I do. That is... For the worry bird. Chuck! Chuck Martin! Charlotte Henry. I mean, Davis. I keep forgetting you're married. Well, you know Mrs. Davis? For a long time, sir. You know Mr. Davis? Ben? Yeah, we know each other. Hi, amigo. Hello, Chuck. This is a surprise. Oh, excuse me. P.T. Moore, my partner, Miss Carter, Mr. and Mrs. Davis. How do you do? How do you do? Hello. The last I heard, Chuck, you were still in the Army. Yeah. Charlotte and I used to be engaged. How nice. A small world, isn't it? Uh, be careful there. Gently, boys, gently. Where does it go? Right in the cockpit, if you like. Is that safe? I don't know, is it? Well, the bomb's well padded, if that's what you mean. That's what I mean. All right, right over here, boy. P.T., I don't know. You don't know what? We ought to cancel out in this thing. For 2,500? Are you kidding? I've never been more serious. Something's biting you, Chuck. You're not afraid. Not of the bomb. This guy Davis. I've been on missions with him before. It's tough enough without... Without what? Uh, without a full tank of gas. Is that right, Chuck? That's right. Chuck was just saying that without a full tank of gas, we shouldn't have any trouble with the extra load. Chuck! P.T. Well, the sooner we get going, the sooner we get to the bank. Yes, sir. You want the boys to put it on the floor? No, it might interfere with the controls. I think maybe Ben and P.T. better hold it on their laps, unless it's too heavy. 
No, I think it'll be all right. That's all right, mister. Is that too heavy on you? No, not at all. The thing is, will it blow up? Oh, it's not triggers. You've nothing to worry about. I've got your money for you, Chuck. Do you want it now? No. Hold it till we get back. If you get back. Forget it, Ellen. known each other? Long time. We're in the same outfit overseas. Remember those days, Ben? I remember. Ben, you mean to tell me you spent eight months with Chuck in that prisoner of war camp? Not Ben. Oh, I thought you were in the same outfit. We were. Well, Chuck, you told me your whole outfit was captured. That's right, we were. All except one officer. How'd you ever manage it, Ben? Lucky, I guess. Real lucky. You were reported missing in action, Chuck. How long do you expect a girl to wait? Depends. Depends on what? Don't ask me, ask him. How should I know? there, Ben. I wasn't. kind of delicate. Would you mind waiting back by the helicopter?
Chuck? The answer is no. What was I going to ask you? If I'm still carrying a torch for Charlotte. Are you? I told you already. Well, what's eating you then? I was just curious about something. Why she married him? No. How he got away when the rest of us were all captured. Well, like he said, he, he was probably lucky. Take a lot more than luck. Our unit was behind enemy lines. We were all captured. Except for Mr. Davis. Except for Mr. Davis. Maybe he wasn't behind enemy lines? That, amigo, is what I've been curious about. Well, I better warm her up. Did you trigger the bomb? What do you think? Never mind what I think. Did you trigger the bomb? Of course I did. Let's get out of here. What time do you have? 12.15. The time mechanism may be a little slow. No, Ben. The bomb didn't explode. You're sure? I was never so sure of anything in my life. Are you sure it was triggered? Of course I am. What's everybody worried about? It'll go off. Yeah, that's just the trouble, Mrs. Davis. Do we just sweat it out? Yes, Chuck, we'll have to sweat it out for 15 minutes more. If the bomb doesn't explode by 12.30, you're going to have to dismantle it. Ben, that time mechanism, are you sure that you double-checked it? Yes, sir. Chuck, this isn't part of your deal. But will you fly Davis back to the canyon? Let's go, Chuck. Not us, me. No sense arguing. I'm going with you. Look, I can handle it. We'll call in when we're clear. You really are a couple of lunkheads. There's no reason for you to go, Ben. There's every reason in the world why you should, Mrs. Davis. Ben is the only one who can handle the bomb. Those pilots have no right to take the risk. Maybe if we waited another... The longer 15... we wait, Ben, the bigger the gamble. It's your baby, Ben. Your idea from beginning to end. If there's any credit, it's yours. And by the same token, if there's any responsibility, it's yours too. Chuck, please, don't fly him back there. Charlotte, I'm big enough to take care of myself.
are we going in? Same as before, Ben. How can you tell if, if there's an explosion? Well, when this needle goes from zero, beyond 200, I'm afraid that's it. And they'd be caught? Well, it depends how close they are. A hundred yards? A mile? Two miles? What? I don't know, Mrs. Davis. That's why your husband wanted to make this experiment. To find out how much energy a solid fuel bomb could generate. Makes her a faster getaway. Without me, is that it? Some people might do it that way. We won't. you go rest in the office.
idea. You're going down there and take that bomb apart. What are you trying to prove? For myself, nothing. But you're going to prove to Charlotte you're a man. Charlotte, so that's it. That's it. You want to be the big hero. That's great. Big hero loves old flame. Not loves. Loved. Now look, what you did to me is forgotten. But you're going to prove to Charlotte you're a man if it's the last thing you do. Don't have to thank us. All we did is fly him out. And bring him back. I hope we see you again, Chuck. Well, you never can tell. Thanks. For everything, Chuck. Okay, Ben. Well, here's your check. There'll be a nice bonus in the mail for that extra flight for you. As vice president and treasurer of the Whirlybird Air Service, many thanks. Oh, goodbye, Chuck. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Helen, buy a steak. Think you can afford it? First, we go to the bank. We gotta make sure his check is better than his bomb. <laughs>